Hi, this is Peter with Patriot Pet Products. I just wanted to do a short uh, video on bully sticks and sort of give you just a quick primer on if you're not that familiar of what it is, uh, how it's produced, um, and you know, is you know, for example, is it safe for your pet to use? Since say it's a uh, very uh, widely sold product um, that you can buy in stores or online. Uh, so obviously we uh, sell uh, bully sticks ourselves on our Amazon store uh, but you might be wondering uh, what are bully sticks? Well bully sticks is basically um, the reproductive organ from the bull and it's removed from the bull uh, once it's removed uh, they clean it and rinse it it's placed in a rack and baked at about uh, approximately 170 degrees obviously it gets cut to different sizes some people prefer uh, you know whether the size of your dog, uh, smaller dogs, people tend to give um, smaller sizes, four to six inches. Larger dogs who go through ballistics much faster, uh, with much more powerful jaws, um, go for 12 inches. So um, you can buy them in various sizes, and they cut them uh, to those uh, specifications for the manufacturers. Um, ballistics are they safe for your dog? Um, yes uh, and no. Ballistics is definitely safe if it's made under sanitary conditions and regulated conditions such as the ballistics that are made here in the USA and if they are sourced from reputable, reputable suppliers people who raise uh, their cattle in a um, eco-friendly and humane way um, that uh, feed their uh, cattle uh, with um, natural products and, and free-range uh, grazing Obviously, um, you know, meat that is sourced from uh, antibiotic and hormone-laden uh, uh, meat uh, definitely can have health effects on your pet. But more than that, uh, bacteria uh, that we've seen within our own customers' complaints from other uh, producers that they've bought from and have moved over to our company is that bacteria um, and diarrhea as a result of that is a big concern. Um, and this happens when um, you know these ballistics are produced in countries and areas where there's no regulation and uh, there's no form of inspection to make sure that it, it's produced in a safe and uh, sterile environment. Also uh, a third uh, reason would be um, people don't use this as a treat. Ballistics is a treat. It is not a primary source of food for your dog and um, if you you know, provide this treat to them in huge quantities. Um, I mean, they'll keep eating it uh, until they start throwing up or having um, stomach problems. So you definitely want to take precaution. Uh, Bully sticks ingredients is primarily um, made of pizzle, which is a combination of fat and protein. Um, just a quick interesting fact that uh, this beef pizzle. Um, is very rich in calories and they found that the treats um, that they tested contained 9 to 22 calories per inch so you know if you just take the average you know 6 10 to 15 calories per inch you know you're looking at about you know close to um, you know 150 to 200 calories per ballistic so that is quite a lot of calories um, for you know, for your dog, so you definitely want to don't want to over overfeed them with this treat. Um, I, I pulled this little blurb off the website from um, uh, you know, as far as just uh, you know, commercial cattle and 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 the grains that are all uh, genetically modified. Uh, many of the food that cattle eat. Um, nowadays is rich in omega-6 and poor uh, in omega-3 and this can lead to heart disease over a long period of time so you know you definitely want to take uh, precaution just like the meat that you consume you want to try and stick to organic and grass-fed um, cattle um, you know bully stick smell that's a common complaint that we get um, this is typically dependent on the moisture content um, inferior producers especially from third world countries uh, such as China and many South American producers, they sun dry their ballistics, which is really not an effective way. Uh, you know, when they bake them after they sun dry them, um, you know, they they still have contaminants. But the 
the biggest reason is that these ballistics aren't dried out. Um, ours are very, very hard and dried out, and therefore the odor is very low. There is no such thing as no odor ballistics, such as such because it is an organic uh, pro pro uh, product. Obviously, we're biased. We do feel uh, since we source um, our ballistics uh, uh, from the best um, producers here in the USA, uh, our our ballistics are very low in odor. Uh, ballistic sizes and shapes obviously get uh, you know ballistics um, you know in different shapes and sizes you know where they uh, they combine and twist them in a braided uh, in a braided shape and also just the regular six, twelve, four inch and longer uh, straight form uh, in its natural form. Um, you have to focus on quality when you purchase. You know sometimes the quality is going to cost you a little bit more. Um, we try and source from producers where it's still rich in you can see you know it still has a tint of the reddish uh, color which shows that it's you know it, it's rich in you know in protein um, and, and usually you know those inferior producers you know theirs are, are much thinner um, and it's much uh, you know much smaller in size so we try and go for an extra thick size because we do feel that this protects the dog not from choking especially when it's bitten into smaller pieces that is also a concern that you need to be uh, wary of uh, just as as a self-promotion we do sell on Amazon and, and that's sort of what our listing look like uh, ballistics is a great alternative um, for your dog you know if you have a puppy that's chewing on um, you know the end of tables and you know and those teeth are really itching this is a great way uh, you know to just give them an alternative to not you know chew on you know different you know different objects in the house um, just wanted to share with you a couple of you know uh, uh, funny pictures you know but shoes a lot of customers find that their shoes are being you know being chewed up because the dog gets bored how uh, many times the dog is left at home alone and, you know and they get into mischief um, as you can see so um, uh, that is our video. Just wanted to share with you, um, you know, a quick, uh, you know, quick video on, you know, the how ballistics are made, what they are, risks of providing it as uh, as a treat, you know, providing it as a treat and not as an as a, a primary source of food. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. You can always find us at PatriotPetProducts.com. Be happy to help answer you with any uh, questions or concern. Thank you.